Hi cellos! So I finally got a cello and I'm going to make you a tutorial video for your pentatonic two octave scale and your Le Air Mignon, okay? So this is this song we're going to keep playing and hopefully all record and put together. That's the idea. So I'm going to first play the pentatonic scale nice and slowly for you and say the letters. We're going to start on D, which is our low D, which is first finger on the C string. So it goes C, after C comes D. That's going to be the bottom note of our scale. So we'll go C, sorry, D, E, G, A, B. And you'll notice that it, that's just your first and third fingers. So try that again. Ready? Go. Now we go to open D. Now it's our first and fourth fingers. E, G, A, B, D. So it's the same notes, D, E, G, A, B. There's five notes, that's why it's a pentatonic scale. Pent meaning five. D, E, G, A, B. down and back up and we'll move on to the song. Here we go. Ready? D. a cool pattern so there you go that's all of the notes in the song you're going to need except there are some sneaky little f sharps in there so i actually think we should shift into second position to get this f this note f sharp on the c string so um i'll show you how we're going to shift into second position before we do it so your first finger is usually on d on the c string when we shift into second position your first finger finger will go to the note e okay and so that's where second position begins. So we'll have E. F would be your second finger, but we want F sharp. So that's your third finger. There it is. So E, F sharp, G, open G. So we'll go find that note E in second position. E. F sharp G, E, F sharp G. We also need F sharp on the D string, but that's nice and easy. That's just your third finger. Right here, in first position, E, 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 E is first finger in first position. On the D string, E, F sharp G. So it's actually the same fingers. One, three, four. Here, or putting your E on finding the E on the C string, E, F sharp, G. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. You might want to watch that again and, tr and try to find those notes. Stop and think about where is F sharp on the C string, where is F sharp on the D string. And now we'll play the tune through nice and slow. I'm going to stop between each phrase. That's where we start over again down bow at the beginning of each phrase together. So here we go. Phrase one starts on open D. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> to low A. Ready, set, A. Shift to F, C sharp, D, E, G, A. Let me do that again. 
again, that wasn't the best. Let's find your low A again and try it again. Ready, set, go. That's the first phrase of the B part. Let's do that two more times. Starting on our low A. Ready, set, low A. Next phrase. That one's tricky, so if that's too fast, you can look at the music, break it down, and study it. Here's the next phrase. This is the repeat of the B part. Ready, set. This is the in the first ending of the B part. Ready, low, A. So that's the same. Next. the strings. Ah, so let me try again. Ready? B part. I'll play the whole thing nice and slow. Ready? Here we go. for you to see how that would really sound on the cello. Obviously that's not perfect, but it should give you a good idea of where the fingers move. So let me know if you need anything else explained in more detail. I'd love to help you out. Talk soon.